Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to customize a content locker with CSS. This video assumes two things. One, that you already know how to create and customize a content locker on OG ads, and two, that you know basic HTML and CSS. If you don't, I recommend our learning platform learn.ogads.com for content lockers and the MDN web developer docs for HTML and CSS. Let's compare the two lockers, what it looked like before and after applying the CSS. Before, you can see we don't have a whole bunch of styling and things look a little bit wonky. If we're to hover over the offer or the button, there isn't any transition or any additional styling. With the custom CSS on after, you can see we have a nice odd background difference and then as well, when you hover over an offer, the background will change and we have a nice transition effect on both the offer and the button. Now, let's cover how to style your content locker. First, you'll need to open your browser and text editor or IDE of choice. You'll then need to preview your content locker. Now, open your developer tools for your locker. On Chrome, you can do this by pressing F12 or right-clicking a website and pressing Inspect. Click on the Element Selector tool and then select the element that you want to customize. In our case, let's say the button. We can see we selected a div element with a class of BTN. The styling is located on the right. We can make changes directly in our browser. Just know these changes don't save, so we'll need to write out the CSS in our text editor. Let's change the border color to black, the text color to white, and then add a black background. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and write out the CSS in our text editor. You'll keep styling your content locker like this until you're happy with it. When you're ready to save changes, you'll go and edit your content locker. You'll then copy and paste the custom CSS into the custom CSS section of the theme and save changes. You can then refresh your content locker and see the changes took effect. It's as simple as that. You'll need to spend time and be creative with this. Remember the order of precedence for CSS. If you're uncertain how to style something specifically, do a quick Google search. That's everything, and I hope you found it helpful. 